hello my wonderful people welcome back to spice channel tv thank you for always coming out here if you're joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you now my country people seven days after bill emefele is still languishing in kuji prison yes seven days after he was granted bill former governor of the CBN, Godwin Emefili, is still languishing in the Kuji prison in Abuja. The ex-CBN chief has not been able to perfect the bail conditions imposed on him by the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory. Justice Hamza had on November 22nd granted Emefili bail in the sum of $300 million. In a ruling, Justice Hamza had ordered that Emefile must produce at least two shorties who must have landed properties in the Metama district of the FCT. Emefile was at Kuji prison on remand when the bail conditions were handed down to him. The judge had ordered that Emefile should remain in prison custody until he fully meets all the bail conditions. However, at the commencement of trial on Tuesday, Mifile was brought to court in a van by fully armed security personnel of Kuji Prison. The court premises was heavily guarded by armed security agents. And counsel to the Economic and the Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Mr. Rotimi Oyedepo, who is a senior advocate of Nigeria, Sam, told news correspondents that the former CBN chief has not perfected his bail conditions. Hence, he will remain in prison on remand. Similarly, Mefele's lawyer, Matthew, uh, Matthew Buka, Sam, while admitting that his client is still at the prison, told Daily Post that his team is making efforts to perfect the bail conditions. He said that the naughty issue is getting two shorties with landed properties in the in the Matama district of Abuja. Immediately after Tuesday's proceeding, Emefile was taken back to prison. And here we have it, my country people. Godwin Emefile is not leaving the prison, that's a Kuji prison, anytime soon. He's being remanded in prison, even after... They've talked about uh, bail conditions to bail him out. But unfortunately for Emefile, he has not met those conditions. Hence, he would remain in prison for as long as. And the uh, news reaching us is that Godwin Emefile would remain in that prison until January. Yes, my country people. Because the courts had adjoined... Emefile's case to January 2024. Yes, so my country people, now so we did see this matter. So Godwin Emefile would have to spend extra one more month, a month and, you know, some few days before they can get to hear his uh, case again in court. Now, my country people, Justice Hamza of the FCT Abuja, recently adjourned the trial of Godwin Emefele to January 18th, 2024. And uh, Emefele would not come out of this jail until he meets the bail terms of 300 million and two shorties in like sum. Meaning these shorties must have certificate of occupancy they must have titles of properties within the FCT. And Emefile um, is mandated to deposit all his travel documents with uh, the registrar of the courts and must remain within the FCT. But uh, as it stands now, uh, um, the former CBN governor, Godwin Emefile, would not be leaving Kuji prison anytime soon. We know how the story started. The FCT arrayed Emefili on a six-count charge. 
bordering on alleged procurement fraud, November 17, 2023. The original charge, which was 20 counts to the tune of 6.5 billion, was reduced to 6 to the tune of 1.6 billion. And I can tell you that Mefele is the only defendant in the new charge. A Mefele is the only one that is going through this mess. <laughs> We are not talking about Abdul Rashid Bawa because it's quite a long time we heard about Abdul Rashid Bawa, his case, you know. But you see the former CBN governor, he pleaded not guilty to the six count charge after it was read to him. According to the amended charge sheet, the charge still border on procurement fraud. The federal government alleged that he may feel illegally bought um, 43 vehicles between 2018 and 2022 worth 1.2 billion. He was accused of awarding a contract for the procurement of 37 Toyota Hilux vehicle valued at 854 million. Emefile was charged with several, you know, counts, several allegations that uh, Godwin Emefile did this, you know. Initially, he was charged with uh, terrorism financing. So all these new charges came after, you know, the uh, he stepped down as the CBN governor. He was also accused of awarding a contract to Yaro for the supply of two Toyota Hilux Shell specification vehicles at the cost of four hundred and forty-four thousand two hundred and two hundred in twenty twenty. So when the trial came up on Tuesday for the commencement of the trial, jo uh, Justice Hamza. I joined the, the, the trial to um, January, yes, my country people, to January 2024. So, a Mefele would remain in Kuji prison from December to January. It's just so unfortunate. I know a lot of Nigerians have been reacting to Godwin Emefele's case, how he's suffering, you know, being that uh, he made Nigerians to suffer, and it seems that he's paying back with everything that's for everything that he has done to nigerians uh it's more like he's having a taste of his own medicine while others have shared in their views that a mefili ought not to have suffered alone meaning when he made those decisions he did not take those decisions alone he was backed up by someone and i'm talking about the former president mohammed buari so people have been calling for the probe of Buhari and why is Emefili suffering alone for all these, you know, uh, charges against him. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you.